What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Simp Saver Sam. Let's get straight into it. Love this guy's name. We are very different. Nah. That's all I need to know. Thank you. His name no, is Chad. No, 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 Chad. <laughs> Please, let me talk. Nah, we don't want to hear it. Oh, you have good night. No, but we can be friends. You night. don't want to be my friend. No. Let the king speak. You know, 40 years old. I ain't got time for that bull. Good for him, because here's what these women will do, dude. They will want you to be an on-deck dude, stay in the friend zone. They will want to use you monetarily and take up your time. But the thing is, you get no reciprocation. You don't get to use her body. Because men, we're not in, the, we're not, in, let's, be, let's keep it a buck, guys. Let's just keep it a buck. We're not talking to these girls because we want to be their friends and go out on, on dinner dates. We're trying to get in the sheets. We're trying to clap those cheeks. It's just a reality. Like, come on now. Starting to move into another direction. Okay, cool. That's how you feel. I gotta respect it. You know he was being petty when he was drinking from the water bottle. Ain't no water in it. <laughs> that's all you have to say. That's how I feel. Boys, there is nothing what? better than a woman saying to you, hey, we're done. I don't feel like you're doing this and this. And you just say, okay, that's how you feel. Bro, Bro facts. mic drop. Because a lot of the times what women do, they give you the- They want you to fight for them fear of abandonment with hopes that you get on your knees and you beg and you plead mm -hmm. and when you don't oh my god they congratulations have. you played yourself there wasn't even nothing in that bottle we drank but i'm pretty sure he was drinking freedom and his explanation was exactly right women like to play these stupid games we all know as soon as a girl says to you oh you know i'm i'm uh, gonna take a break you know i just want some space that means she's gonna get whacked by another guy you show her where the door is you help pack her shit and you say get the hell out of my house and she'll probably love you more for that that's how messed up some girls well, the are the thing man. is is when you set a boundary like that women will respect you more um when you don't set a boundary and you let a woman just like kind of trample all over you that's when she loses respect and doesn't see you as a superior if it were the case, then why don't guys have fat girlfriends? They generally don't for the woman. If it were the case, then why don't guys have fat girlfriends? They generally don't. You don't see. You have. You know a guy that has a friend that's a girl. So these. I don't. And if the well, in, in in the last video, we've been talking a lot about friend zone. When dudes have girls that are just friends, most of the time, don't shoot the messenger here. The girls are ugly. I'm just saying, Matt Rife has like a stand up about it. Like it's hilarious. But like, if he's just friends with you, ladies, it's probably because you're not that hot opportunity was presented to that man he would sleep with her a thousand percent of the time yes. guys play friend zone game all the time i ain't never seen a man that i fucking need bitch. you're all replaceable don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise you're a guest in this household and you can be kicked out just as quickly as you were welcomed in I just this is when ladies misconstrue their beauty for value because the thing is just because you're pretty doesn't mean that you're valuable your personality is worthless a lot of the times because usually when you're pretty you don't have to work on your personality it's sad I'm so confused when I see these ladies that are using filters a ton of makeup drawn on eyebrows fake eyelashes and where you can still see the glue at the top of their head for hair that is not theirs so confidently come on the screen Back. and talk shit about men <laughs> <laughs> what's your name? Destiny Mira what's your best pickup line? you look like you're my destiny yeah that's what I'm on. Oh. Was ass. Your destiny? Maybe, potentially. It's possible, baby girl. Maybe. I don't know. This guy's just a simp, man. This guy's. I mean, yeah, no, in no way, shape, or form. I'd be like McDonald's first date. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't going nowhere nice. Everyone's destiny. That's what yeah, she no, nobody wants this chick. Nobody. Let's let's keep it a buck. No, nobody wants this girl. She's not a baddie. She's not hot. Nine nine nine. What is this? The upside down six six six. That's already not good. She's got the bull nose ring in her nose. Like a lot of this is just a walking red flag. Like I'm sorry. I, I'm absolutely sorry. These women out here, ain't, ain't nobody really chasing a chick like this. Oh, let's get to the Godfather here. You're definitely a single woman because yeah. you got the single woman tell. You, uh, let me know in the comments. Do you know what the single woman? I call it the single woman song. Do you guys know what that is? It's the fire alarm. Beep. You'll hear it, dude. You'll hear it. Damn smoke detector. Mm-hmm. How do you live with that? Um, the way that I've been living with just being a single woman is no, like, no, 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 no. Specifically, <laughs> the smoke detector that keeps chirping. Beep. How oh. do you live with that? 
can you just elaborate more on like the what, what do you mean by the smoke it, it, they don't even know that it's going off they don't even know that that beep isn't supposed to be happening change the freaking battery dude it, it keeps going beep like red you, flags you're, 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 that, that smoke detector that's beeping in the background stupid there's a smoke detector <laughs> Um, <laughs> it beeps every 30 seconds and it goes beep. I don't, I don't Stupid. hear anything Stupid. beeping. Do, did you just hear it again? Because I don't hear anything. Oh my god. Wait for it. Told you guys they, they don't hear it after a while. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. She really thought it was a metaphor. Like, good lord. She, she's so dumb. So stupid. That she thought this was a metaphor that Kevin Samuels is trying to preach to her. It's like, no, boo-boo, you need to change your smoke alarm. But once again, that's the single woman song. Only single women have that going on, dude. Boys, you need to stop being so fucking available. Today, I'm going to tell you why you keep getting rejected. And I'm going to tell you the things that girls don't want you to know. First and foremost, girls aren't going for sex. And you know what? It is really sad that if you treat a girl right, she's still going to go to the guy that doesn't. Back. But as a girl, I can't even tell you how many times I've heard another woman say, mm, I really like him, but like, he's just too nice. Yeah. Too nice? It's the sad truth, but girls in our generation see guys that are overly nice from the get-go as weaker. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. No Do you That's why it's like, dude, you almost sometimes got to be mean to your girl. It sucks. You got to command her to do certain things. Set boundaries, set lines in the sand and say, hey, you cannot do this. Like, you just have to. Because if you don't, women are hypergamous. They're going to see you as weak and they're going to take advantage of you, see you as the nice guy and want to move on to the next. It's a sad reality, but it's true. I think men and women can just be friends. No. Are one of them gay? No, straight guys only. No. <laughs> I, I, I really don't think so. This. Well, um, Tension? Yeah, it's too, it's too strong. I, I think it's possible. But. I also Let me know in the comments, do you think men and women can just be friends? I know a lot of you guys are like, I have, fr I have a girl that's just a friend, and I almost bet you, dude, if you're not sexually attracted to her, more than likely she's beat. Like, guys and girls can only be friends when one, like when the girl is super ugly. Like, she gotta be ugly, she gotta be beat. That's the only way that a guy will be friends with a girl and not see her in any way. But most of the time, guys aren't friends with ugly chicks. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger here, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think girls can, mm -hmm. but like guys, can't. they can't. Like yeah. girls, we like we can do oh, it. Oh, we can have a guy We're friend. chill, we're, like, we're like, friends. We're, like mm -hmm. we can do like, it. But like, you know but what I mean? But guys. Keep telling yourself that, darling. We can have guy friends, but guys can't have girlfriends. You're wrong, love, you're wrong. Of course they're gonna say that because they're losing out. Modern women have normalized them having guy friends, these backup dancers, guys like vultures waiting for an opportunity to dig out your missus. Nah, man. See, I, don't even I don't even consider these guys friends. I would consider them simps. Like, if you're willing to invest time into a woman and she's not going to invest physically into you, that is a losing battle. Why are you investing your time into a woman that's not willing to physically invest in you? That's why you're talking to her, right? Probably to hook up, to do something. She's not going to reciprocate the things that you're investing. Like, bro, keep it pushing. Like, I do not think that men can be friends with women and, and women can't be friends with guys. Women can have simps and on deck dudes. I don't consider them friends, though. They're just simps and on deck guys. They're, they're stuck in this friend zone. But the friend zone to me is labeled as a simp. That, that it's a numbers game, but there's also a saying that says stay in your lane. And I just feel like some of the creatures that come up to me with the confidence they have, I mean, wow. A man really came up to me at the gas station and said, you caught my eye. You really have a filter on your face right now. Shots fired! Shots fired! Just saying. May the one that that haveth no sin cast the first stone. How about we close him? Keep him, keep him sealed tight. Shut, actually. Because I'm not, I'm here to fill up my gas. Shut your f***ing mouth! <laughs> Super quick and simple. Are you natural or not? Am I natural or not? Am I natural or not? Man, that jawline is stronger than mine. Shoulder is stronger than mine. Look, if she says she's natural. Oh, God. That's for you guys to find out. <laughs> That's for you guys to find out. Honey, we know you ain't natty. Guess. Huh? Take a wild guess. For the audience. What? 
stupid. Like they're they're gonna have to guess whether you're natural or not. Oh, they have to guess. I don't. I'm, I don't know what they're gonna say. Well, unless you tell them. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm natural. You're natural. Yeah. Lifetime natural. Yes. How then do you, why do you look like a man? Shots fired. I think I keep my face. <laughs> How do you think you keep your face? I thought this was John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. I thought I was watching Face Off. <laughs> look like a woman's face she looks more masculine than me so lifetime natural and what division do you she's like in? just keep eye contact and he'll believe the lie bodybuilding okay so men or sorry women's bodybuilding yes okay. stop the cap <clears throat> she says she's natural but she sounds like flipping batman the only <laughs> thing natural where is, is she <laughs> in this video is the mic and i don't know why she's on about how she kept her face she looks like homelander he ate her up. Is, I cheated on my ex. So we were just really young. We dated since high school. We realized that we had very different love languages. And then I was just always constantly searching that in streets. other people. Yeah, like I messed up and then I hurt him a lot because I'm also his first girlfriend and everything. So like everything was like. This girl got a Veggie Tales face. Shots fired! Shots fired! A big back. And she talking about I cheated on him because he didn't provide me with the things that I needed. And I was like, you can't make this stuff up. Really came crashing down hard. I didn't find out. It was like a friend that we hung out with in a group for, I think, like about three years or so. She talked to him and he talked to her behind my back. The girl that was with that guy at that time, I found out from her because she sent me messages that they deleted from each other. It hurt. I'm like, really, really, really bad because uh, I'm... I'm a guy of respect, you know, and that's kind of disrespecting me. And you were in love with her? Yeah. It was. I mean, she was my first, and then I thought she was my last, too. What was it that made you want to cheat on I don't know. Like, I always told him when we started being together, I was like, I hate cheaters. I got cheated on before, too. I think it's just more environment problems like how I am family. Like, I'm just, like, this perfect person. And then I think I always wanted to, like... I'm not a perfect person! <laughs> There's many things I wish I didn't. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Honey, with this little punch right here, you're talking about, oh my God. Self-destruct, self-sabotage, but he was like literally everything I ever had. Like he was the best person, best boyfriend. He treated me right. Like our love language was very different, but like, I mean, he loved me and I know that he loved me, but then I don't know what happened. And I like, that's my biggest regret. I don't know what happened. I know exactly what happened. You got bored with the nice guy and wanted a Chad to blow your back out. It's really not a tough equation, guys. The cheating, that's not a big work, you know, but it was still in my mind and back of my mind. The trust was gone. The next prompt is since our separation. So once a woman cheats, it's a rat, bro. I think, I think, and this is one of my controversial takes. I think men can cheat and still be in a, a monogamous relationship. But I think once women cheat, women cheat emotionally, men cheat physically. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you think that it's equal men and women cheating? I just think men and women are so different. And we have to embrace that difference by understanding biologically how we are different, right? Men produce millions of sperm every single month. Women produce one egg a month. It's in our biological nature as men to spread that seed as much as we want. So men are more prone to, to cheating and having multiple partners. Whereas women, they're looking for the best person to mate with. They got one egg. But in that same in that same breath, I think a man can still be monogamous to a woman if he cheats on her. Now, if he's a serial cheater and it's like a girl every week, yeah, once I think is you get a pass by like two, three, four, five times. No, absolutely not. Um, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think in the comments? Is it one sided? Is it equal? What do you think? Oh, and back to his point. Um, I'm talking about respect and how he felt like that was a big form of disrespect. Men want respect and women want love. I'll say it again for the ones in the back. Men want respect and women want love. Ladies, if you want to keep a man, you have to show him respect. And men, if you want to keep a woman, you have to show her love. And sometimes that's in a form of tough love, setting boundaries and being secure in your masculinity and letting her know where she can, uh, what she can do and the lines that she can cross and the lines she cannot cross. I've been with someone who's better in bed. So, Jen, after the breakup, yeah. there's someone else who's better. So, like, when I was with him, like, that's the best thing. God, this guy's going through it. Not only did she cheat, she's also saying this guy blew her back out better. Oh, God. And then, like, when we broke up, like, I was with someone that, like, really loved me, like, really, like, just gave me everything, like, in the short amount of time that, like, for eight years I could even deal with him. So, that's why I think that love 
their sex was better in the sense that it was like love. And I think that's why I was missing from him was like I couldn't receive love the way that he gave. Did you feel that makes you stupid? Well, I, I thought I gave my all 100% of it because that's all I knew. So I, I gave this girl's probably going to grow up and just be a. She's giving me single mom vibes. What do you guys think? I just think that women like this will grow up to be a single mom looking for the Chad to blow her back out and then trying to have Poindexter raise her kid. Wow. The guy literally asked, why did you do it? And you gave all this waffle excuse bullshit. You're a free. She could have just said, hey, you know what? I belong to the streets. I, I cheated on him. I shouldn't have cheated on him. I, you know, did him dirty. I'm a bad person. I regret it. He was the love of my life. Looking back, if I could have not done it, I would have not done it. But the accountability is the absolute plague to these women. They will never own up and be accountable to the things that they have done to a man or even to a friend. They'll say, well, it was his fault for doing X, Y, Z because he made me feel insecure and I wanted to feel secure. And another guy swooped in and Chad, he really blew my back out. He really realigned my spine good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? What? You just have to, av you have to avoid these types of women. And the thing is, there's usually telltale signs, right? If you can talk to a girl on a first date, there's certain things that you can ask to reveal the true person that they are. I always, when I would go on first dates, I would always ask, what's your longest relationship? If a girl's like six months, red flag. Six months is your longest relationship and you're in your 20s? Okay, all right, okay. Well, who who ended it? Like, what happened in your last relationship? If a girl's like, well, I broke up with him. What about your uh, relationship before him? Well, I broke up with him. If a girl's a serial break -upper, if she continuously breaks up with men historically, Newsflash, buddy, you're next. So don't sit there and wait to be the next one. You should be the one to be like, okay, I'm going to keep her at a distance. She's historically broken up with all of her boyfriends. And her longest relationship is six months, which tell me she, tells me she can't be committed. And then I, I would always even ask, what's your body count? How many guys you bucked? And if they say a lot, I'm out. I'm absolutely out. And usually you can tell. And then also, I would always take girls to not a fancy place, not a dinky place, but like right in the middle. And I'd say, hey, let's dress up. I want to see how they dress. I want to see how they walk. I want to see, are they elegant? How do they handle a fork, a knife? Do they like wipe the table down after they're done? Like there's a lot of things you can look at as far as from an etiquette standpoint to see if she's of a quality that would be a good mom. Because there's a the thing. When I was in college, I had fun. I got to know a lot of girls. We'll just call it getting to know them. <laughs> I would take them out. And I would call this a stress test, which there's multiple different forms of stress test. And I'll start revealing these to you guys. This way you can start doing it um, with the women that you're meeting. It's a stress test, right? Take her out to a medium fancy restaurant. This is a girl that you've already got to know first. You've already hung out with. Take her to a medium fancy restaurant. Say, hey, dress up. See how she handles herself. Pull her chair out for her and be a chivalrous guy. Be a gentleman. But see how she handles herself. How is she eating? Is she cutting things and taking her time? Is she really eating really fast? Is she shoving her face? Is she getting things everywhere? Is she putting her napkin in her lap? Is she holding utensils in the right hands? Like, is she taking her time? And then get it, always get a glass of wine. This is another one of my stress tests. Get a glass of wine. See how she drinks this glass of wine. Is she chugging it? Is she holding it like this? And it's, like there's certain things you can see. And then all of that stuff correlates to the woman that she would be when she's a mother. And for me, the woman that I was looking for when I find Cass, I don't know if you can hear in the background now, she's cleaning the house. W woman. W's in the chat for Cass. Um, she's in here cleaning the house. But there were certain things I looked for. So when I went over to her house the first time, I was like, how clean is her crib? How organized is everything? Is she tidy? Is she clean? Do, do things smell good? Because the thing is, I, as a guy, I wasn't good at that stuff. I don't know. Are you guys good at that stuff? Let me know in the comments. Do you keep your house like super clean and organized and smelling good? That is not my area of expertise. I'm ambitious. I'm extroverted. I'm kind of a wild card. I like do things randomly and I'm, I'm kind of spontaneous. That, that organization and that level of like cleanliness was never my forte. So I was like, I know if I'm going to get a woman in my life, I need, I need her to have qualities that I need and not qualities that I want. And what I mean by that is I need a woman that's organized. I need a woman that is um, has the capability to be a mother to my children. If we want to have kids in the future, I need a woman that knows how to cook and clean. Cause I didn't know how to cook and clean. I needed a woman that knew how to do laundry. Like I know these might sound like Levi, that's stupid, but I was being like, I was seriously vetting in that way. 
I was absolutely vetting in that way. We'll get into that in a later video though. Um, ebook is out. I think we've sold like five or six copies. Shout out to you guys. Make sure you copy it. It's in the description. Really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.